This is a short tutorial on the basics of using Master Slider, which is a slider plugin for WordPress. I'm at your dashboard. I've already logged in. And you'll want to come down here to the lower left hand side of the screen uh, in this menu on the left hand side and click on Master Slider. And you'll notice that I've got your, your first Master Slider created, and it's the one that's currently being used on your website. To make changes to this, you'll click on this particular slider and it'll load all of the data for the slides that we've already created. And you'll notice I've got 18 slides here um, and there's icons at the uh, bottom right hand corner of all of these thumbnails for each slide. And you'll notice that this first one, if you hover over it, it says show and hide slide. Um, that's going to be your friend moving forward as you create things. Um, you'll notice that only the first three slides will be, are visible to the front end of the site. The rest of them I've hidden. That's so that you can go in and make changes to these. I haven't linked any of them up. I've just uh, duplicated all the slides that you had in the old slider plugin. And, um, and the duplicate uh, icon here is, is a really good way to, to keep moving forward as well. If you want to add a new slide uh, based on previous slides, the way you've got them laid out and everything, you can just simply click on duplicate slide and you'll notice it added the 19th one in there and it's also hidden. It uh, pretty much adopts whatever settings are in the one that you've duplicated from. Um, but I'm going to show you how to add a brand new slide. I'm going to remove this one. You come in here and you click on add slide and if you remember I had you name all of the sliders, uh, backgrounds, main underscore slider. So we can click on the search box in the upper right hand corner and click on main or type in main and you'll see all of these slide backgrounds that uh, I've, we've already get created. So I'm going to click on this one just for the sake of the tutorial and it's added it to the background. If you don't like that one, you just click on the trash can and then you can add a new background searching for it again and clicking on a different one. Once you've got that background in there, I don't think we like that one because it's real low resolution. I'm going to go back and add this one in. You want to make sure that, uh, that's another thing, you want to make sure that your slides are all um, 1000 by 425. Notice some of these are not. I think the, the first three that I've created uh, the this image size is a thousand pixels wide by 425 pixels tall. You'll want all of your slide backgrounds to be that size. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to use the scuba divers because it's the correct size, a thousand by 425, and I'm going to hit add image. So that's added it to this slide. Now, if I want to start building layers on this slide, I come over here to this uh, lower right hand corner of the uh, the screen, and I can select what type of layer I want to add first. It defaults to text layer, but it could very well be an image layer that you want to add in, kind of like a banner that you have on the, on the very first slide of your existing site right now. Once you select what type of layer you want it to be, we're going to make this one an image layer, I click on the plus sign, and it adds an icon there. Now. I'll come down here and select the image from this area down here. We have three tabs, layer content, transition, style, and miscellaneous. To build out these layers, we'll want to have this selected, this tab selected, and we'll come in here and we'll pick an image that we want to float in over the top of that. And I think I'm going to just use this one for the sake of the tutorial. I add that, and you notice that it put it right there, and you can move it anywhere on the stage you want it to be on. You can name this um, whatever you want to name it by highlighting that and I'm going to put in Princess Academy that way I can identify this as I build out the different layers. Now if I wanted to link that um, Princess Academy to their website I would, I would put in the full URL here. It's not going to go anywhere, of course. 
Um, and then if it's going to somebody else's website, you always want to open it on a new page. If it's something that you're linking to a page within your own site, it'll be on open on the same page. Then the transition, you'll click on it to decide you know, what kind of effect you want it to have as it's coming in and out. Right here where it says transition effect, you'll click select. And you have all of these presets to select from. And most of them are pretty good. Um, I'm going to come in here and say I want it to uh, 3D rotate right. So I'll select that and I'll select apply transition. And then if I come up here and select preview slide, it's going to show you how that comes into the stage. Now, if you don't like the presets, you can always come back down here, select the, the layer that you're editing, go to transition, and you can change the duration, the delay. Uh, if you click on select and you come to this screen where we've already, you know, selected that particular transition, you can modify it as well. You can change the duration, uh, the ease function as it eases out. You can change the offset, X and Y coordinates uh, for where it is relative to the stage and all that. And you can play around with that. It's kind of like the, the previous slider that we had. Once you get everything changed the way you want it, hit apply slide or transition. And then once you've made all the changes that you want to make and you've added the layers, like we're going to, I'll add a text layer for instance, um, and I'll click on plus, and you'll notice that it adds a text layer in here, and you can identify that by the, the T. And I'm going to say um, main text layer, so I can identify that. And it'll always put it up in the upper left hand corner. You can see it there. If you scroll on down, you'll notice that uh, it gives you the same toolbar that you have when you're editing your WordPress uh, pages. Major, let me see here. Um, awesome travel prices for October. And I can highlight that and change it just like I would in WordPress. Um, I can make it uh, a different color. I want to make it maybe white so it's more contrasting on there. And, uh, and you can change the transition of it. You can make it, you know, something that's a preset by coming in here and saying I want it to be left short. And then when I preview this, that comes in from the left. That rolls in from the right. And that's basically all there is to it. Um, you can play around with it to um, get a feel for what all you want it to do. Again, uh, to, to link things, uh, you're going to want to come down here, you select whatever it is on the stage that you want to be linked to, and it may be a button that just says uh, learn more, or it could be a banner that you've got from one of your affiliates. And once you select that, then you can come down here and put in the actual URL that it goes to. Once you're done with all of your changes, simply click on Save Changes. And when you're ready for this slide to go live, then you'll select this here to make it go live. And I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of this now. Delete that. And that's all there is to it. If you have any questions, email me or give me a call.